As school is back in session, so is the task of making daily lunches. As Catherine Hansen tells us on today's To Your Health, Canadians throw away approximately half a kilogram of packaging daily. Making a waste-free lunch can not only save on littering, but can provide better nutrition and be a little easier on your wallet. And now, To Your Health, brought to you by Evergreen Pharmacy and Heart Drugs. Pre-packaged foods and snacks, it's better just to buy applesauce in a large jar where we can recycle the jar and put it Single prepackaged items may be an easy solution for busy families making lunches every day, but the result is less nutrition and more waste. Well, usually they're processed and they're prepared and preserved because they're in wrapping and they um, usually have a fairly long shelf life, which generally means that they're not the healthiest choices. Statistics show from kindergarten to grade six, the average student produces 200 kilograms of waste from lunches alone. And lunchtime trash is second only to office paper as the leading source of school waste. When you think about it, anytime you have somebody doing work for you, and that means taking something in bulk and then, you know, putting it into individual portions, we as consumers end up having to pay for that. And then from a health perspective, there's also the health, not only to individuals, but also the health to the planet. With the cost of single serving portions averaging an extra $2,000 over seven years, avoiding them may take a little extra time, but in the end, it will be easier on the pocketbook and the earth. If you're buying in bulk, you're also reducing the amount of litter and you're also reducing your costs. It's cheaper to buy in bulk than it is to buy individual servings. I know it's handy um, and maybe have a few on hand for those mornings that you get up late and you just want to throw something together really quick. But really make a conscious effort with your child to get into the habit of working in the evening to put his lunch together. Finding ways around the plastic bags, saran wrap and single servings are easy and there are many products on the market today that can help the transition to a litterless lunch. A nice one for yogurts are these little containers. Um, they're insulated and they have a really good seal on them so you don't have to worry about it leaking. There's so many products out there. There's a whole variety of lunch kits that can be insulated or non-insulated. There's glass um, containers, there's plastic, there's stainless steel, um, lots of reusable items out there. There is the great old thermos and now they're making the thermos that are non-breakable and they're hot or cold. Um, so there's a whole plethora out there. And don't forget your margarine containers, you can wash those out and use them as Tupperware so you don't need to throw them out or your yogurt containers. Buying in bulk and using your own containers is also a great way to help reduce the amount of waste coming from lunches. Next month, schools will be asked to become litterless through the week of October 7th to 11th as part of the REAPS Waste Reduction Challenge. To your health, Katherine Hansen, CKBG News.